So it's a bit of a, a bit of a mis mixed bag out there right now, um, where you know the weather is improving bag. here, and I'm really curious to see what happens over the next couple of days because I think there was um, a few more buyers out. Sunday, I mean, was blustery in terms of yeah. weather, but I think that's been driving a lot of the um, the, the buyers to stay home. Has been been influencing it a bit. Um, we did have um, I know hearing our realtors chatting and stuff. Yeah. Um, a lot of listings get sold over the weekend. A um, little bit more Good. traffic come up, so um, hopefully that trend continues. But I do want to share a few stats with you guys really quickly that are not on the screen here. Um, I pulled the statistics from March 15th to February 15th of 2017 and 2080, so comparing the same time periods. Because even, I could mm. pull it to today, but it takes a bit for people to record all of their sales that happened over the right. weekend. So we are down um, from 2017 by 27% right now in the market. Um, interest rates are up. Mortgage rule changes um, are, are uh, happened as well. We're trying to determine what the influence has been one of the crappiest, harshest winters we've seen on record in Calgary. So we're going to see how that changes. But I just wanted to let you guys know, uh, about 27% down. In terms of CARA, um, Central Alberta, from that same time period, March 15th to February 15th, they're actually up 3.6%. Oh, interesting. So, so Red Deer, and that's specifically Red Deer actually, is outperforming. Um, so... Go well Red done. Deer. Kudos to Red Deer. Yeah. And then we're tracking stuff for March, and we're going to see how it goes. But, um, you know, we're kind of seeing that sales are down a bit. And I don't have a lot of good stuff to point that to, except for the mortgage rule changes and some interest rates. Um, right. So sellers may need to, well, not may, well, we don't do. Even, we don't even know if that's, if that's for sure the case, right? Right. But if they if need to make a move over, you know, in the short term here, expectations need to be very, um, uh, very realistic. And we've been, um, there's lots of communication we've been put out. We did a price video on overpricing. Yeah. I'm doing a video today on um, how much room you should leave for negotiation. And I've done a bunch of research on that. So we'll be sharing that. So you guys can share that with your clients as well. Nice. And they'd be surprised that it's not as much room as they think they should leave. 97.5% um, is the average, the 10 year average. And it's never gone above 98% sales to list price. And, um, and never gone below 97. So 97.5% is the magic number. Wow. Um, okay, let's take a look at the hard numbers for how the market is. Price of oil rallied a little bit, um, up to 62.23 from uh, 62.07 last week. And the Canadian dollar took a bit of a hit down to 76.36. That's because Canadian interest rates, the feds are really cautious to potentially raise rates right now. They're, they're not going to do it. Um, there's no plans to do a rate this second, but the U.S. is talking about it. So when you compare the two, that's causing the U.S. dollar to climb and the Canadian dollar to fall. And speculation says that the Canadian dollar is going to get worse and worse up until the end of the year. And that's right, because if, if, if the, the Canadian, yeah. the Bank of Canada does not raise interest rates, um, then investing in our currency um, isn't as lucrative. And yes. so that will drive our Canadian dollar weaker compared to the U.S., Absolutely. compared to the greenback, as they say. The greenback. Okay, <laughs> number of listings. Um, up a little bit, which is nice to see. Metro Calgary, 6,065, um, up 277 from 5,788. Red Deer is also up with 32 new listings, and they are sitting at 666 in their market. Um, as for the months of inventory in Calgary, we're sitting at uh, 4.97 overall. This has slipped a little bit because um, supply goes up a little bit, and the demand hasn't kept up quite the same. So sitting at 4.97 months of inventory. Single-family homes just just teetering in that balanced market. They're still balanced for single family homes, um, as for our detached homes, as for condos here. Obviously, the slow driver of the marketplace, sitting at 6.99, easily in a buyer's market. Looking at surrounding areas, months of inventory, Oak Tokes 4.12, Airdrie 5.07, Cochrane 6.12, Strathmore 8.5, Sundry 6.38, Chestermere 6.13, Red Deer is at 7.66. And our current benchmark price for Calgary is $434,300. And our average price in Red Deer is up 0.58% uh, from two weeks ago at $353,644. And condos are also slightly up from two weeks ago at $230,224 for their average price. So good job seeing the Red Deer market um, outperform over Calgary right now. Um, which, is, yeah. which is good to see. That's so great to see. Not good to see from Calgary's perspective, but good to see from Red Deer's perspective. The one thing that we should also me also mention, and, and it literally only it's because we have Milo coming up, and we had a conversation with Anne-Marie Lurie a little while ago, but when we look at the months of inventory and when 
you guys are speaking to your clients about you know absorption rates that doesn't include any of the new builds in any of the new homes that's correct at all which in some communities are skyrocketing like crazy right now so using some of these numbers in conversations um, might be a not not unre unrealistic isn't the right word to say but it's probably good to do some due diligence depending on the community you're selling in to see what developments are happening because you know this 4.97 might be good for one community but another one that has you know 25 different homes show homes for sale like that those numbers change quite a bit yeah the new home inventory is something that is is not reflective of this this is only resale it's a good barometer to check things but um, Kirsten's right it doesn't sell the, tell the whole picture um, especially given the different communities